Hey girlfriends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, by popular demand, I'm reviewing the entire For You by Tia products. If you have been living under a rock and you don't follow me on Instagram, first of all, we have to fix that immediately. Follow me at Ms. Bianca Renee. But you might have seen that I was personally invited to go to the For You by Tia launch party where I got to meet Tia Mori, you know, sister, sister. One of my like idols growing up. Being a curly girl growing up in the 90s, we didn't have much representation. So I looked up to Tia and Tamara and Scary Spice and I've always loved my curls and possibly because of them and that type of representation that I didn't really realize was a big deal until now. But at the party, they gave us a goodie bag of all the products in the line and they talked about them. They talked about the ingredients. Um, so I'm going to share all that with you today and try all of them. Now, even though I love Tia Mori and I was invited to her lunch party, I'm still going to give an honest review per usual. First of all, the products are 13 fluid ounces, so they're pretty big bottles. I feel like an average bottle lately has been like 8 or 10 ounces, so I'm happy with the 13 fluid ounces, okay? Second thing is the price range. These are available at Walmart and on their website, and they're only $9.99 per bottle. $9.99 seems to be the magic number lately for my pair of products that I've been trying, so... I just love being able to give you guys more affordable options. Sometimes you guys get mad at me, like I'm the one making up the prices, but I'm always for affordability because that will encourage more people to try it and more people to rock their natural curly hair. And that's all I'm trying to do is get more people to rock their natural curly hair. So thank you, Tia, for making some affordable curly hair products. So what's in the line? We got two different types of cleansers and two different types of conditioners. So before we get into the stylers, let me show you how I applied these in the shower. Starting off with the For You Clarifying Shampoo. This is supposed to deeply cleanse and remove buildup. It has apple cider vinegar and Hemi 15. When I saw apple cider vinegar, that was one of the ingredients I got so excited about because I love what apple cider vinegar does for our hair, but I hate the smell. So let's do a little smell test again. Luckily, it does not smell like apple cider vinegar. It kind of doesn't really smell like anything. It smells like a clear gel, like just, I don't know what, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> you know that youth to the people cleanser that everyone loves? Kind of like that, but thank God it doesn't smell like apple cider vinegar. Okay, let's talk about this Hemi 15 situation ingredient. I've never heard of it before, but apparently it is a silicone alternative, and you know I'm all about that. So according to the website, Hemi 15 is clinically proven to improve the health of hair instantly smoothing texture and increasing hair's ability to retain moisture. This Hemi 15 ingredient is a breakthrough silicone alternative it's from 100% sustainable and ethically grown renewable sugar cane. So I thought the clarifying shampoo is decent. So then after I rinse it out, now I'm going to do double shampoo, which I normally don't do, but I want to try both of them. This is the moisturizing shampoo. It gently cleanses and softens your hair. It has watermelon and Hemi 15. Now this one, this one smells good. This one I'm getting like the sweet, juicy watermelon vibes from it. So I'm very big on scents and I like that. This is supposed to be a rich shampoo that cleanses without stripping essential moisture. It's supposed to make your hair soft and hydrated, which is just like an added bonus that I think from a shampoo because that's not where I expect to get my hydration, but I'll take it if I can. The moisturizing shampoo got really bubbly, really fast, and I like a shampoo that lathers. So if I had to choose between the two, I'm gonna go with the moisturizing shampoo. Here's my hair before I took a shower. I had some product buildup going on. I did use these products earlier in the week. <laughs> we'll revisit that later. And then here's how my scalp looked after. So it does look nice and clean now, but stay tuned. Now that I've tried both of the shampoos, let's do a side-by-side -side split comparison of the conditioners. This is the lightweight conditioner. It gently moisturizes and detangles. It has sea moss and Hemi 15. It's a lightweight conditioner that gently detangles curls. Hydrated hair without the weight. So when it comes to a conditioner, the things that I look for, I want slip. That's all we really care about. Nobody likes to detangle, okay? It just takes too long. We want to be able just to run our fingers through our hair like Jay Holiday and just be done. So I would say this conditioner has a good slip, but wasn't amazing. Let's see if the moisturizing conditioner does better. 
This one, it's a little smell test. All these products are so lightweight that you have to do an intense sniff to smell anything. So if you are sensitive to smells and fragrances and scents, you're probably gonna like this line because it's very, very, very faint. This one does smell better than the lightweight one. It's a little more floral. This is supposed to be a deeply moisturizing conditioner that nourishes and detangles. Although it's saying deeply moisturizing, I would not call this a deep conditioner. It's a very loose, runny consistency. So I really hope that they add a thick, deep conditioner to the collection in the future. If you want help, call me, I got you. So once I rinsed the conditioner out of my hair, I felt them and I did notice that the moisturizing conditioner side did feel a little bit more moisturized than the other, but they were pretty similar. All right, let's get into my favorite part, the stylers. I'm all about the stylers because I like instant results. And once you do your hair with stylers, you know exactly what's gonna work pretty quickly. So we've got two different stylers here, the leave-in curl cream, and we have the curl defining gel. You guys know that I always say that a leave-in conditioner is not a styler unless it tells you that it is. So this is a leave-in curl cream that actually states it's supposed to smooth frizz and softly hold two things that a leave-in conditioner usually doesn't do. Uh, it has flaxseed in it, which is like, makes me excited because I love my homemade flaxseed gel. So that was a good sign. Plus this Hemi 15 situation. So I'm gonna start with this. I haven't tried this on its own yet, but it it actually might work because of the flaxseed. Like that's what gives me the confidence in it. What it gives, nourish curls without the frizz. Apply to clean, damp hair, comb to distribute evenly. For more hold, follow with the curl defining gel, which you know I'm about to do. So first of all, the packaging, this is new. I don't, I have a lot of products. I don't think any of my products have this little twisty do at the bottom. So you twist it and then it comes out. I kind of really like this. You know, I hate a pump. I'm so glad that the shampoo conditioner did not have pumps, but I'm all about the squeeze. I guess you gotta make sure it just to like wipe it or maybe that could probably get crusty. Packaging, I think it's cool. It smells good. Very floral scent, still pretty light. I have to go like to really smell it. Start at the ends, work my way up. I would say it has good slip on top of already being detangled, of course. Smooth. The other side. See, I keep wanting to go like this to close it. Now I guess I need two hands to close it. Okay, maybe after use is not as easy, but to start is cool. Um, consistency, it's a very lightweight cream. So I have very fine hair, so I am down for a lightweight leave-in conditioner. If your hair is really dry, it might not be enough for you. I really hope and recommend that they make a deep conditioner next, something thicker for the thicker, higher density, higher porosity gals and guys. But for my hair, this is doing good. I almost feel confident enough to just use the cream on its own. Like the curls look really shiny and defined right now, but probably for a soft, fluffy look but let's add the gel. Okay, leave in curl cream, I like it. This is the curl defining gel. Delivers definition and shine, aloe vera. We love seeing an aloe vera ingredient, plus Hemi 15. Long lasting styling gel that defines curls. Flexible hold and protection from environmental stressors. Now, if you know me, you know I'm a strong hold gal. I don't mind my curls being crunchy. It's actually kind of funny at the event when I was talking to Tia and like her team, they're like, yeah, it's a gel, but it doesn't leave your hair like, you know, hard and crunchy. And I'm like, I don't mind the hard and crunchy. <laughs> All right, here's the consistency. It's kind of goopy. Not really like a cream, almost like a cream gel. It smells like hair gel. Like not really a scent. Aloe vera doesn't really have a scent either, so I'm not really surprised. It's everything is super light, even for the scent. So I'm gonna smooth. Ooh, I think the aloe vera is giving it some slip. One thing that Tia literally told me was that she likes, maybe she was talking about the cream. When you put in the cream, you don't see any like whiteness and you don't have to wait for it to dry. But when I put in 
the gel and the cream together, you do see the white. It almost looks like they wouldn't get along, but that would be wild. Adding some more gel to this side. Yeah, it's like a cream gel. I do know that flaxseed always makes my hair super shiny. And aloe vera does that too. So this is, should be a good mix. Okay, we are fully applied and styled. So now I'm gonna let this air dry for a little bit. I could just go in with my diffuser, but I wanna see how much of a cast this creates on its own. And then I'll go in and diffuse for extra volume. And I'm back, it has now been one hour and we have a little bit of a cast. It looks very defined. But if we look closely, the soft hold is softened. Because it's soft hold, it would probably be better if I air dried, but to be completely honest, I never air dry. If I'm trying to like look good and go somewhere, I'm going to diffuse. And I like a strong hard cast so that it can withstand my diffuser. So I am going to diffuse and I can see things probably getting a little fluffy. Let's take a look at the final results. The curls are curling. Got some good volume for day one. My hair has no hole anymore. It's very soft. What do we think? We still have one more thing to try. This is the For You Multi-Use Hair Oil. Prevents breakage and adds sheen. Vitamin E plus Hemi 15 sulfate silicone free. It has squalene in it, which is used for moisture. Um, it's in a lot of like skincare products, that's how I know of it. Let's try it. Now, if I had a stronghold gel, I would then use this to break the cast. I don't have a cast to break, so I think it's just gonna make my hair even softer, but let's see if it increases the shine. Does it have a scent? It doesn't smell like anything. It kinda smells like sugar water. <laughs> that a couple drops. Hmm. Yeah, it smells like like a melted lollipop or something. All right, so got some type of frizz situation going on over here, and I think that's because it's not a stronghold gel. Let's see if I can fix it. Let's let's just go with the gel. A little bit more. Okay, I mean, this looks beautiful. This looks great. I think it does look good. I'm really glad this really look, there's no white cast. There's no white residue like I thought there might have been after looking how it was when it was wet. So that's good. Now I have seen a few reviews saying that it flakes. Let's do a shake test. I should have worn black so you guys can really see. I'm gonna hold up my shirt, see if I catch anything. I'm not seeing any flakes. I don't know why they would get flakes and I wouldn't if we're all using the same thing. Okay, no flakes, but I have noticed that on my scalp, can you see? There's still like some white, like it almost looks like product buildup. So I don't know if that is from, see, like, what is that? I'm not getting like flakes, but I do see some buildup on my scalp. I don't know if that's from the product drying on my scalp, like maybe the stylers drying on my scalp, meaning I should focus them more on the lengths of my hair and avoid the top of my head, or if that's gonna be a call to the shampoo not doing a good enough job cleansing it. I feel like it looked fine after I washed it twice, 
But you know, then sometimes when your scalp actually dries, that's when you notice things. I don't know what it is. Now the funny thing is like, I do think my hair looks really good. It's really soft, I'm still getting definition. I'm getting shine. I feel like in order for me to really use an oil, like you gotta make it super shiny and smell amazing. You guys know I didn't even use oils until the Curlsmith one, cause that smell is just my favorite thing in the world. Yeah, it's shiny. I think I would just be more excited to use it if it had more of a scent. It Almost forgot, we do have one more product. This is the For You Curl Refresher Mist. It's supposed to hydrate and revive your hair. Has rosemary and Hemi 15. It's supposed to be a lightweight mist that revives curls. What it gives, refreshed, hydrated hair, how to use on non-wash days, spray evenly onto damp hair. I did use this already. I tried this on a refresh day and it honestly didn't do much for my hair. It kind of felt like I was just spraying water. Um, it's a very light mist. You can't even see it. I'm not in love with the smell, but like, I don't know. If I'm gonna use a refresh spray, I need it to give me hold. I need it to re-hold my now soft curls from being on a day two, three, four, five, six day hair. Overall concluding thoughts on the For You by Tia products. I wanted to absolutely love, 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 love these. I like them. I can't say I love, 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 love them. What do I want you to try? Try the moisturizing ones. Try the curl cream. Maybe the gel if you're feeling feisty. I'm not really mad at the conditioners. They didn't have the best slip in the world, but it was good. If you have fine hair and like a looser curl pattern like me, these can work really well for your hair. I mean, I do think my hair looks really good. It'll be good for today, but by tomorrow, I know I'm gonna have to add a lot more gel, but I, I'd still want more hold. This has not changed how I feel about Tia Mori. Still love her as a person. At the launch party, she was so personable, so humble, so sweet. Like you always know when a celebrity is nice, when they're like, hi, my name is Tia. And it's like, we all know your name, obviously, but you still introduce yourself because you're just a normal, nice human being. And that's who she is. Like there was no arrogance about her at all. So it was a pleasure meeting her. I could feel that she was passionate about these products and having curly hair. People love to take the negative route when it comes to celebrity hair products saying it's just a cash grab, blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, she is gonna make money off of this because of her name and people are gonna buy it regardless because they like her, but that doesn't mean that she doesn't genuinely like love or want to create good products. You know how much time it takes to make a brand and like to create products? I don't think you would just do this just just cause and put out something bad. Like you want to put out something that everybody loves. That's always the goal. We just gotta work some things. These products are not going to work for everyone. That's just, that's just the facts. So I think if it was remarketed in a way like that this is made for this hair type, it would get a lot more positive feedback. But now we just expand the line from here. We add some thicker products for tighter textures. We add more moisturizing products for drier hair. We add a stronghold gel for me. <laughs> and um, we gonna be all right. We gonna be all right, Tia. We gonna be all right. Just need a little bit more hold. And we will come back stronger than ever. So let me know what you think of my hair. Do you like how it looks? Does it look better? Does it look worse? Do you like lightweight products? Do you like flexible hold? Do you like strong hold? Have you tried them? Will you try them? Do you like the price point? Leave all your thoughts and comments below. If you want to try them, I'll link them in my description box. But make sure you come back next week for my pattern blow dryer review. We got more celebrities making more things and you know I want to try it and give you an honest review. So come back next Sunday and every Sunday after that because I post new videos every single week. Make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Ms. Bianca Renee and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.